we have got an unbelievable picture from the elbow camera right now. You see the entire continent to Australia from here. The whole thing. The sun and I streaking through the sky set down upon Australia. Night comes down to earth below. All too soon, this serene, silent fall through the night has moved the sun to the eastern horizon. Sunrise, another day, another journey began. The earth beckons, and I follow. Why? Why? Why space flight? Why put telescopes in space? Why? That's why. That instinctive curiosity that we come into the world with for exploration. It's the quest. It's the journey. That's why. What kind of universe we got? What's our place in it? What's it mean to be a human being? That's the real reason for space flight. It's to get our eyes and our ears into the universe. It's to reach out and it's to touch our universe. And it's to be touched by our universe. We've always looked to the heavens in search for the hope and the meaning of life and death here on earth. It's the reason that we propel ourselves into the heavens. It's the reasons we put the Hubble Space Telescope out there in space. And here it is, getting ready to soar the universe. The high gain antennas going out. The solar panels going out. And we take it up there with the arm and we drop it into the heaven with a reflection of Earth on the aperture door. And there it is, flying along the end the west coast of the Andes, along the Pacific. You got Chile running along like this. You round the corner and you scoot up into Peru and Bolivia in the upper right hand corner. A magical place, the Andes. Off and flying. But within months, we found out we had the wrong curvature in the big mirror that could not be replaced. In the next three years, the computer lost 50% of the memory, half of the rate gyros failed, the magnetometers failed, the solar array drive electronics failed, the fuses blew, 12 other major systems failed. We have 13 major systems in the Hubble Space Telescope to repair. We got a mission. 
We have a mission. There is the mission. There. It's an external thing which now drives us. It comes from out there. It tells us what we got to do. It's a very clear, well-defined vision is fix that thing. That is what forms the team. There is not a team in place here and a problem here and you throw them together. It doesn't work that way. We have functions. We have functions we have to do to get from here to there. You got talented, competent people. Talented, competent people. And you put them in place to do those functions. They take responsibility for what they got to do. Their roles are clear, their identities are clear, their talents are clear, and they do it. There is no hierarchical structure, there's no horizontal structure. It's like an organism. It's like my body. I've got 100 billion cells. They all do their thing. My liver cells say, I'm a liver cell and I'm going to do a liver. And I'm a kidney cell, I'm going to do what a kidney's supposed to do. Believe me, there is no such thing as a kidney cell that is jealous of a brain cell. The muscle cells don't want the bone cells to fail. They got a mission. That is the thing that coheres and brings everyone together. It gives them a passion. You don't do a mission, you believe in it. So we go forward. Any town of life, you can get that kind of vision and communicate that kind of vision. It is spectacular. The job gets done. That is the symbol, the icon. It gives us an identity. We all contribute to that art, all of us. Artists, engineers, cool people. I want it, the ascending thing. The human arms reach to the heavens. This is the part of the hour. Reaching for the heaven. And here's the crew that's going to go do it. I'm going to concentrate on the hands. They're going to go out and do the job. Never forgetting the launch control people, the mission control people, the engineers, the maintenance people, this all those people. I'm going to concentrate on the crew. We are the hands of the team. They put the hands on and do that part of the job. Here's the gang. Commander Covey. Magic man Claude Nicolier. He is going to run the robotic arm. He's going to carry us around. Fellow spacewalkers, Tom, Jeff, and KT. Within that, we're going to concentrate on the spacewalker. The spacewalker. The choreography, the dance, the doing, all of that. Now that, that's an artist concept of how we might fix the Hubble Space Telescope. That's a beautiful thing. I love it. That's an artist's idea. How can we learn?